What's up everyone? Today I have another amazing Raven Hell into Grandmaster episode for you guys. We faced our toughest Protoss opponent yet and the last game might have been the most epic game of the show so far. We played a 40 minute TVT amazing game. Came down to the wire, can't be missed. Enjoy. Alright, the first game of the day is against a 5-2 Zerg. Uh, that is pretty scary. We've had some rough games against Zerg, I think. Maybe our last few losses had a few losses to Zerg in them, if I remember. Or maybe not losses. I remember we lost one game to Harsom Zerg. And then we had another really tough game against a 4.9k Zerg. Now, 5.2 does sound a bit intimidating. Though, as usual, I probably still like playing against Zerg the most. Because I feel like the game Zerg is often the coolest. Uh, now, we're on a little bit of a winning streak from the last episode. So, let's see what we can do in this game. His, his name feels a bit familiar. But I don't think I know him from a challenge. I feel like it's more like... Maybe I know him from like a, a qualifier bracket or something. Cell Sidus. I have no idea how to say that. Should probably not have tried. Now we're playing on Dada C. Which is typically a nice macro map. Ready to make some cars. Run them around. Make some ravens. I think I actually might want to play... A slightly more aggressive TVZ once. Uh, when I lost that game to Harsom Zerg. I feel like I got a little feedback basically saying... Uh, you were so passive. And you guys were right. That game I played against Mutalisk. For the people who didn't see it. My opponent basically made a lot of mutas. And my response was to just not risk any anything. And stay at home. But it might actually be pretty sick to... Even if there is anti-air out. Just to try and sneak ravens across the edges of the maps. And try to get damage done. Uh, because the passive gameplay is fun. But to be fair. Once I get my PFs up. I'm probably going to survive anyway. So I might as well YOLO to get some damage done. Uh, and it could also lead to some insane crazy chaos which would always be funny of course uh yeah i'm gonna make a reaper as well i think against zerg it actually doesn't matter that much whether i'm allowed to make an early game unit uh because yeah zergs don't usually have units that attack me early on anyway and i'll get hellions out in time but i guess it's still nice to make one the, the thing that it does do is that it makes the opponent believe I'm playing normal, which obviously you guys know that I'm absolutely not playing normal, but my opponent does not quite know yet. And let's see if he's going for a hatch first. I actually feel like... Oh, it's actually not a hatch first. Okay, interesting. I feel like I pretty much... Oh, that's actually... That is more than not a hatch first. Uh, that is big trouble because my opponent is going for some kind of crazy all in, it looks like. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, I know what I have to do here. So normally I would never, this is actually, I'm going to say this because I don't want to confuse you guys uh, if you play on the ladder. Normally against the pool first, you would never cancel your CC like that. But I uh, know what build he's going for and he's basically going for a uh, speed link flood all in or more like a semi all in I guess. Wait, he can actually break that? No freaking way. No, there's no way he's going to break that. Oh, he might actually get the SCP though. Yeah, I should probably... Do it like this, yeah. He's, this is basically a semi Alin he's doing. So I had to cancel this, you see. You could see how fast the link speed finished there. Now, at the same time, he did cut out of gas, which means there will not be a bailing Alin follow-up. So at this point, I would say we're probably just a little bit ahead. Now, there's always one really scary moment here because I want to uh, I wanna do this, but it, it would be incredibly stupid if I did. YOLO? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Guys, please do not try that at home, what I just did, okay? <laughs> I could have lost this game instantly. And the episode would have been off to, like, the worst possible start. I really have no idea why I even tried that. What it worked out, which is fantastic news for us. Let's freaking go. It, it actually makes a big difference, by the way. Because making Hellions... Uh, yeah, I mean, you quite literally make them at half the speed if you don't have the reactor. So that is actually a huge difference. And obviously when I'm playing weird, I do need to secure my bases and stuff at a decent time. So, uh, but yeah, please guys, do not do not try what I just did at home. You would probably be fine just making um, Hellions one by one from your, uh, you know, naked factory, I guess. All right, that was a great start. Now, I have five Hellions already, so even if you... He's, he's trying to surround me, but it doesn't matter, honestly. Um, I have way too many Hellions here for that to do anything. Now, this Reaper, I'm just going to scout. I'm not actually going to try to do anything else with it let's see if there's maybe like a roach war oh it's a lair okay i see we're gonna play some weird stuff then uh fast fast lair is always a bit scary because it could obviously be um you know mutas nidus anything that can threaten my my play just uh, as a reminder for you guys my usual setup for the raven opening is to go for five bases pretty fast and get a, a bunch of pfs so then i'm basically just 
safe forever and against spam ravens like an idiot. That is that is the plan at least. Um, if he goes for very fast mutas or nidus, however, I'll probably not get to do that. Uh, what I normally do is I would cut him making hellions. I think I'm actually going to go for some pressure here. Uh, maybe even more than a pressure. I could even do a run by. Because often those cheeses... This sounds really weird, but often those cheeses are a little bit greedy. I think I might have explained this in maybe like a ghost episode or something. But if people cheese you, they will often cut corners to make the cheese stronger. So if I attack like this, um, it's very likely I will do either a lot of damage. Or the guy was forced into making uh, workers instead. Or units instead of workers and his cheese will be weaker later on. Now this is already looking pretty good for us because he's going to lose a lot of drones here. Which is fantastic. There's a baiting this going, so I guess he actually was not that greedy after all. Let's see what he has here. Now my objective is to just keep these aliens alive for as long as possible. Um, I'm not even sure if he made links. Okay, he did make a few. Oh, this is going to be juicy. Oh, watch this. Oh, there's a lot of drones going down. Not quite on that last volley. Maybe one from this. Oh, that's looking good. Let's get another starport. Oh, this is actually a lot of damage, guys. Okay, one more shot. Pretty sure I only killed one drone with that, actually, but that's fine. Now, I did not see a spire, but it wouldn't be crazy to assume that it was there. Um, I guess I'll just start getting my double PF up. I almost just lifted all my CCs again. I did it once before, I think, in a, in a Raven episode as well. Uh, and I almost did it again, but luckily both my CCs were making a worker, so I couldn't. Yeah, it's looking totally fine. That's not enough Zerglings to threaten anything, really. And then I guess I should probably... I really want to just make a CC instead. Yeah, I'm actually just going to make a CC. Frick it, guys. Let's be greedy. Oh, the, wait. This guy's actually... He has no drones at all. Where are his drones at? I guess I should probably be making turrets here. Wait, he took the other base too? That's kind of crazy. Okay, let's get some... Oh, this looks like some nice damage, actually. I know it's nothing crazy. Uh, but like I said... Playing a little bit more aggressive. Does feel pretty good. Is there a muta? Oh, no. Oh, oh, the spire is actually very late. Oh, that is so nice to know. I actually wanted to start turrets already. I felt like I was being greedy all this time. Uh, but the spire is actually quite late. That means I can get my uh, PF slash Raven upgrades. I guess, I guess they are definitely both. Oh, that should be a planetary, of course. Habits, guys. Old habits. This Raven has seven kills. That's really not bad for a Raven, you know. Um, and I wait. I only I only made one raven in that time. Hmm. I would have expe expected to have a little bit more ready at the home. Then yeah, let's start getting some turrets already because I think it's gonna be pretty easy to forget at some point that I actually have uh, all of these. Let's see. There's a queen. Spire still not. That. Spires actually take quite a while to build, huh? That those are things you don't actually realize if you're. Um, yeah, not, not Zerg, I guess. But, but Spires actually do take a while to build. The more you know. Uh, I guess it's time for me to go up to Triple Starport. There we go. And actually, I just realized I don't actually need 5 PFs here. Because on this map, these 2 PFs actually hold everything down already. That's actually very pleasant. Now, am I insane for going out? Um, yes, I am. I should probably stay back. I'm actually... I'm gonna YOLO it. Because I said at the start I wanted to play a little bit more aggressive. I'm also going to send these Hellions out at the same time. Probably make a few more turrets in all my bases as well. And make sure to actually get this base saturated. If I don't get that base up, that would be a little bit of a of a disaster. Get that. Oh, actually, I know he has drones on that base in like the middle. So I think I can totally get on top of that. Uh, from this like sneaky angle from the top. Wait, he actually did not have this base? Huh. He really had no drones this game. Now he's making roaches, but I'm sure I saw some mutas at some point. I don't know where they went. I mean, he has roaches. He should probably use the roaches instead of the zerglings to defend this attack. I feel like he's having a little bit of a brain fart here, uh, to be honest. I literally saw the roaches in his natural. Oh my god, this guy's having a nightmare of a game. And keep in mind, guys, this zerg is actually very high MMR. And I'm not even sure if we have beaten someone this high. So this is actually an amazing start to this episode. Now, I guess I probably... Wait, does he have a hidden base or something? It almost feels like it, because else... Why is this going so smoothly, you know? It doesn't quite add up, I feel like. Right. Wait, did I see anything more? No. Oh, maybe I didn't see. 
Oh, maybe I didn't see mutas. It was just like the flying carcasses from the map, basically. That does make sense. Uh, okay, so it's coming in with a lot of roaches. Obviously, I have... Actually, I have more than enough here. That's actually... He's actually going to fight in my auto turrets, which is going to be very sad for him. Do an anti-armor missile. Absolutely obliterate these roaches. There we go. What a composition, guys. Actually, I feel like we haven't even lost anything here, really, to be fair. Like, this is... Uh, <laughs> His attack is getting... I thought it was going to be a little bit more menacing, that, to be fair. When I realized he was not uh, making any mutas and he was only making roaches all the time, I did think it was going to be a little bit more menacing of an attack than that. And I guess we're just going to make more CCs, but realistically, we are probably going to be able to end this game, I think. Unless I micro like an absolute brick, maybe. Like, these auto turrets just shred so hard. Like, yeah, they're actually like a, a force field almost. Like, he can decide to walk through, but he will get absolutely destroyed if he, if he tries it. And even even without running away, these Hellions are more than enough at this point. There we go. He's definitely still trying because he's like Hellion Raven. There's no way I'm losing the Hellion Raven, all right? All right, there we go. Okay, guys, that was actually an absolute stomp. Uh, a 5 to Zerg. 3k resources lost against 8k. Hmm. Now I just remember that the start was amazing for us. The start with that Link Flood actually put us in an amazing position. And now I remember that start, it definitely makes more sense that we were so far ahead. Anyway, fantastic game number one. Let's keep it going. All right, we got Mad Frog. Wait, we played this person recently. I think we played against Mad Frog in our Ghost Challenge, actually, if I'm not mistaken. And it might have even have been... Uh, maybe my memory is playing tricks with me, but it might even have been the same map in the same spawning positions. I think it actually was. Um, if you guys don't watch the Ghost Challenge, I actually do recommend you guys to check it out because it's a lot of fun. And especially that last episode was absolutely amazing. Um, obviously not going to give too many spoilers besides the fact that we played against Mad Frog here. Uh, and if you guys are actually still here enjoying the games, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out on any future videos. Turn on notifications as well. And, of course, we are on the road to 30k subs. We reached 25k recently, which happened way faster than I could have ever imagined to be. And now we're going to head towards 30k. And I probably want to do something really cool for 30k as well. I'm not quite sure what. Maybe we can do another, like, quite cool show match. Or maybe I could do, I don't know, an AMA or whatever. Uh, whatever you guys want, really. Uh, obviously. Uh, it is my channel as much as it is yours at this point. Because I make the content that you guys like the most. So make sure to leave all the suggestions down below in the comments. And I will read them gladly actually if you guys are curious i think this might be a cozy thing to know but i always read the comments with my morning tea i wake up and i have breakfast and i make myself a tea before i get ready for the day and then i read all my comments that i haven't read yet um and it usually actually takes me quite a while these days we get a lot of comments so it usually takes me about like 20 minutes to actually read all of them so uh just so you guys know i do actually spend a nice amount of time reading what you guys have to have to say to me and i do enjoy it as well now yeah i guess this game is just gonna uh, well I, I don't i was gonna say go the exact same way as the last one i don't mean like the result i meant more the early game but then i remembered the last game we actually got link flooded like crazy so uh i guess well this guy's name is mad frog uh but i guess we'll probably still see something different um in case you guys didn't watch the ghost episode i did talk about it a little bit that mad frog used to actually be a pro gamer in wings of liberty i'm not sure it's the same one but it is the same capital letters i believe and uh, when I started up, you know, as like a as like a noob StarCraft player, one of the only things you you uh, are uh, you know occupying your mind with when you're in Battle.net is trying to climb the ladder. So inevitably, I looked at the High Grandmaster at some point, and I could see Mad Frog at like rank three or whatever. So he was definitely one of the big dogs there at the start. And once again, I'm not quite sure if it's the same guy, of course. Now, let's see if he has anything going here. I don't want to do too much damage with this Reaper. I just want to scout really. See if he has a third base. I think probably already down. If it's a normal build, the third would already be down at this point. It's not quite down yet. Now, I do think it's very important to keep scouting for a third base. So I'm actually just going to patrol that worker there. Obviously, the more crazier your build is, so if you're playing Hellion Raven, uh, the more extreme you'd want to react to uh, maybe there not being a third base, for example. It's actually not going to get that down. I'm going to block it for a while. Just being annoying is fun. Not actually gonna kill his stuff, but I'm gonna block it because it's, it's annoying enough. Oh, he actually got it down. Okay, there we go. Oh, fair. Let's see if he's okay. So he's making speed. He cut. Oh, actually, that was a lot of gas mine, guys. 
I'm not sure if I saw it wrong, but that looked like it was about 220 gas mine. Um, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Kill the creep room as well, that's always nice. I'm actually gonna jump in again. I'm gonna pretend I'm going here, and then I'll sneak back around, because Overlord's right there. I think he might barely not see this. Uh, sneak back around and jump into the main. I think if it's roaches... Okay, this sounds really crazy, because we haven't actually had this before. But if it's roaches, we might actually have to do the same response. Oh, it's a lair. Okay, that's good to know. I was gonna say the same response as against 4 Gate Blink, where I get like a second factory and make mass hellions. Because my idea to hold it would actually be anti-armor missile mass hellion, because obviously... If I get another starport, I might have one extra auto turret, but that's probably not gonna make the difference. But once again, we're playing as the fast lair. Now, the last opponent did actually not do that much with it, but obviously we were quite far ahead in the last game after the start. This game should still be completely even. I am going to go out and pressure right away. Uh, I think that feels like the right thing to do. Our MMR is quite high as well. We are... Um, if we win this game, we might actually reach 5-1. And I feel like we're at the point where I need to respect my opponents to the max and I need to do early damage to keep this strategy stable and legitimate, so... The least thing I can do is move out with my Hellions and try to poke the Queens and stuff. Make him use some APM. I could actually consider going for those Queens with an auto turret, but I'm not quite ready yet. Keep in mind what I said last game. If this person is going for a Nidus or so, it could also be that his defenses are going to be a little bit lacking. Because people tend to do greedy cheeses. So what I'm thinking is I've saved up a few more units, like these extra two Hellions and the Raven. Maybe I can hit uh, when he's actually making a Spire or making a Nidus or something like that, you know. So that is the plan for now. I don't really want to make more Hellions than these, to be fair. Because uh, I want to get my 5 base setup going. Now, I think if he doesn't have enough Queens, I'll definitely go for this. Let's see. Oh, there are actually a few. He has a lot of Larva here. That's very notable. There were a lot of Larva just chilling. If he's fighting in these auto turrets, he's getting owned. Oh my god, the auto turrets! <laughs> Have you ever seen queens get owned that hard? Oh my god, he's just... He's gone. Oh, how did that... What? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was wondering. There's no way. What's going on here? Now, I think I understand why I won this game, guys. This, this, this was a timing, okay? You, you could say this was a timing. Um, he had... What is this? 30, he had 32 zerglings on my side of the map. Not a single zergling at home. He was gonna go for some really crazy bailing bust into roaches. I'm actually curious how that would have played out because this bailing bust, let's say I, I was not in the mood to be aggressive. Let's say I don't kill him here. This bailing bust could actually own me on deal damage and then he could roaches in, make roaches in the background to deal with my hellions. That would have been very interesting, but well, to be fair, we got very lucky this game, but I'm gonna accept it because MMR is MMR and we're gonna move on to game number three. Ooh, a 536 Protoss, okay. Um... You know, my memory is not always the best, but I feel like this might be one of our biggest challenges yet. Protoss, obviously, a pretty tough race to deal with with the Hellion Ravens and a 5-3 Grandmaster Protoss. Hmm, I'm already a bit scared of what's gonna come at us, but uh, we're still gonna try our best. I do often feel... I, I have did the most with the Bone Cloud. I'm not sure if, if you guys watched that uh, Bone Cloud episode I did a few days ago, but... Um, I feel it the most with the Bone Cloud, but in general, it happens with the challenges. The challenges put me in such a good vibe that sometimes I feel like it gives me superpowers. Like, I feel like I win games uh, that I wouldn't otherwise win because, I don't know, my vibe is so good. I always want to try to the max. Um, and sometimes I actually make miracles happen. So in some ways, I do feel like these challenges actually give me superpowers. Now, I think we're going to have to be a little bit lucky here. Um, I do have one maneuver that I'm thinking of that could help me out here, which is... I could use my Scouting Reaper to maybe set up a Grenade Hellion run by. If you guys have no idea what that looks like, let me explain it to you real quick. So, the Reaper has a Grenade. I'm actually not sure what it's called. Uh, but the Reaper has a Grenade ability that can bounce units away. So, very often what people do to deal with the Hellions is they make a wall off and they put a unit inside. So, what you can do if you have one Grenade and four Hellions, is you can grenade the unit out the wall and then run the Hellions in and go for a lot of worker damage. And yeah, like I said in the last game, at this MMR, I need to do a lot more damage, but in particular in, in TVP, which I would consider to be the hardest matchup probably, I definitely need to get some early game damage. Even more if my opponent is high MMR like this, a lot of buzz. 
Lada was actually a pretty long time player. I think I probably even played against him with uh, with my main account on occasion. Probably was a bit higher MMR back then, or maybe I was lower. That's obviously also possible. It's always nice to get some uh, health damage on the pro, so they can't come back and annoy you as easily. Now I do need to keep in mind, I cannot move the Reaper too far out on the map, because if he hides the probe and comes back at the perfect time, he will actually be able to block my add-on, which is always rough. So um, first of all, I'm just going to scout around my base quickly. One thing that's a bit scary on this map in particular is that they can blink in the back of your base. So I need to keep 4 gate blink is already one of the best counters to our build, even though we have a nice little counter to it that works sometimes. On this map, 4 gate blink is even more of a threat. So let's keep that uh, in mind. Now, I'm just really carefully looking at the mini map so the pro doesn't sneak in. That would actually be a little bit of a nightmare. Um, so I think right now we're probably good. There we go. And then I can move this Reaper across the map as well. Accidentally cut one SCV out of gas there. Didn't want to do that. Uh, so that was an Adept that's going to go by. My CC is going to finish, which is very good. Uh, on a map like this, it's very easy to actually deny the CC if you send an Adept very fast. But here, we're actually going to be... Um, wait, he actually walled this off. I wasn't even sure if you could wall it off. Apparently you can. Oh, so it's a Stargate and he's making a Phoenix first. That's actually one of the biggest tips that people didn't seem to know. You can actually see what unit they make by the shape in the Stargate. Now let's not uh, let the Adept in. I saw the Adept doom up on the minima. Um, so I think the fact that it's a Phoenix is actually quite nice for us because... Or well, I, 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 don't, I don't mean that it's good for us, but I mean an Oracle would shut this down really hard. Uh, like an Oracle would have such an easy time against this. Let's see if I can do it. No, I was too late. That's rough. Okay, so I'm going to have to make an eBay. And yeah, the Phoenix is going to be incredibly hard to deal with. With the Ravens. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to rely on getting a little damage here. If he finds my Raven early on, we're going to be in a massive amount of trouble. Oh, he actually... Oh, he lifted pretty early. He didn't actually get that one Hellion. So I'm actually going to get some damage here unexpectedly. That is really nice for us. The damage is exactly what we need. If he was able to fly across... Um, and just find my raven for free. I feel like we might even have lost the game instantly. But now, he's had to keep his phoenixes at home. And that is actually the best possible start we could have wished for. He's probably going to be very weirded out when he sees I'm making turrets in my uh, bases. Instead of just, you know, units uh, to deal with the phoenixes. <laughs> but I guess he'll probably understand it later. Now the turret is going to go... No! I can't believe that. Let's see. Like, what the hell? Why does this guy have so many turrets? Now, he could be sending his... Um, hell, uh, oh, wait, I can get in. Oh, this is fantastic, guys. Let's go. More and more damage being done. LOL. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is this build? Oh, no, he, sh he finished the shade on accident. <laughs> guys, how are we so lucky? <laughs> he actually psyched himself out here. He, like, he never expected me. To make four more Hellions, because who on earth makes eight Hellions and then makes terrors to defend Phoenixes? So yeah, he wrote it here. That makes no sense to me at all, exactly. He completely psyched himself out. And then because he was typing, he finished his shade. And then he actually lost more pros and then he gave up. I don't know who blessed us today, guys. But we are very lucky, and we may have just beaten our biggest fish yet, which is amazing. Now, as always, the games are pretty short, so I'm just going to keep on playing. Let's go. Juggernaut Jason might have a 5 6 Terran. I guess, I guess the system realized we've been blessed today uh, and is just giving us harder and harder opponents. Now, a 5 6 Terran. Ugh. I mean, we just beat a 5 3 6 Protoss pretty handedly, albeit we, we were a bit lucky, let's be honest. But still, we did beat it, so maybe if we're truly blessed, this could be the time. Jason is also a streamer, he's a really cool guy, so hopefully uh, this could produce a nice reaction on his stream. Now, by the way, I actually had a little chat with my last opponent because he was so confused. Uh, I let him know we were doing a challenge and stuff. And, that it were, and he was like, question mark, what does that mean? I was like, well, I'm only allowed to make Ravens and Hellions. And then he was kind of like, oh crap, I shouldn't have left because I was probably going to win that. And I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but he was actually very cool about it. Said GG once again. It was actually a very nice guy. Um, and he blessed us with some MMR. So he's actually a double nice guy for the channel today. Now, against Terran... Um, yeah, I guess I'm still just going to go with my Reaper expand here. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid against a Terran this high. Because usually what I notice is... 
Terran's skill set is very particular. Like, the better Terrans get, more more than anything else, the better they just get at using their units aggressively. So I feel like playing as a high MMR Terran is very likely he just uses his early units too well and kind of kills me. So, but then at the same time, playing the way I do, or at least the opening where I go for Reaper Expanded to 6 Hellions, is pretty normal in TVT. So I should be able to uh, defend what he has to throw at me. Unless he maybe goes for like a 2 racks Reaper. That would actually be a pretty good move. I, I recently did that build myself, but that was already like last month when I did it against Bion. And even though the opening didn't work out completely, I still felt like it... Uh, it lined up pretty nicely, you know. It makes sense on a map like this. So, he's doing a double gas. He's definitely playing a lot safer than me. I would say his play makes more sense on a small map like this. Because small maps, it's actually quite hard to defend the Reaper expand. Oh, by the way, another idea I had for you guys that I wanted to share. Uh, I wanted to do some more guides, right? Or maybe like some more guides focused on beginners and stuff. And I had the idea that I actually really enjoyed. Of just teaching you guys how to Reaper expand in every matchup. Because Reaper expand is honestly just the basis of Terran. Like you can Reaper expand against everyone. And if you do it well you can do that build forever. Like you don't technically need to learn um, all these crazy double gas expands and marine reactor expands and stuff. So I thought I could maybe make a nice guide on just how to Reaper expand in every matchup. So then you actually have a build you can just always do. Obviously with a little bit different adaptations in each matchups. And I actually really like that idea myself. So I think I'll probably be doing that at some point. Let me know what you uh, think of that in the comments, of course. Why is my nose so itchy, by the way? I've been scratching it for like three minutes. Kind of weird. Maybe I have a... Maybe that, that's the downside. I've been blessed with the winds, but at the same time, my nose is itchy. It's like one of those games that uh, that the gods play with humans, humans or whatever, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, we haven't died yet, so that is really good news. Because I was kind of worried that would happen. Um, I'm actually going to send this out on the map for a proxy. I'm going to take my third gas even before the orbital here, which is a little bit crazy. But, I mean, my build does simply require a lot of gas. Right. Proxying here even feels a bit risky because once again this map is so small. It's, it's actually not even that unlikely that it just straight up scouts there at some point, you know. Maybe, I don't know what he would be looking for, but it actually wouldn't surprise me. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll just skip SCVs and make like another depot and stuff. I think more important than anything is that I have a lot of units. Like keep in mind, I'm maximally respecting my opponent here. So I'm even cutting SCV so I can hit the strongest possible attack. And that is basically my approach for this. Um, let's see. I'm just going to build it already before my second raven. Seems a bit crazy, but I'm just like very carefully uh, looking at my resources and stuff. Because uh, I really don't want to, uh, you know, block my own, like gas block my own raven. I'm not sure if anyone ever uses the term gas block, but I guess you know what I mean. Um... If I made the second star port too early, maybe I wouldn't be able to for the second raven. But it actually looks completely fine here. I'm, I'm just surprised we're not attacked yet. Maybe I like to get in the heads of my opponents a little bit, right? And maybe he has the mindset of uh, my MMR is a lot higher. So I just don't want to take any... Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, did I get both? I think I may have gotten both. Not completely sure. Yeah, they did both die. All right, perfect, guys. That is an opener and a half for us. Um, and I guess... Well, actually, I can maybe go for a four raven timing instead. Like, it looks like four ravens is going to work out. Uh, once again, we're inventing another timing attack as we speak. We've done the five raven timing. That one is actually a timing attack, by the way, guys. But this one, the four raven timing. Definitely making that up on the spot a little bit. Now, one thing that worries me a little bit is that if he's playing so passive... It could mean that he's also adapted his build to be, like, overly safe in a way. Um, what I mean by overly safe is that usually you can always get away with making one or two Cyclones and then making one tank, etc. But if he's maybe just extra scared, maybe he was making Vikings from the start instead of Ravens. Maybe he made tanks straight away instead of Cyclones. And then obviously we're going to have a hard time breaking it. Though in some way, Ravens could actually be better against tanks than Cyclones. Depends on, like... Yeah, really just the situation. I have so many Hellions, it's probably a little bit weird. Um, he hasn't moved out yet. I wonder what he would think if he scanned my base. He just sees like a tech lab researching like it's... You'd probably think it's Banshee speed actually thinking about it. 
Uh, cause cloak should already be finished by now. So I can I guess it has to be speed. Let's see. He's still not moving. He's playing this weird, guys. Like I was saying at the start that I expected him to have like really good unit usage. So he's playing three ray. Oh, he he could actually be playing um double starport. Potentially. Dude, I have so many hellions. This is kind of crazy. I think I'm just gonna go. Oh, he's here. Here we go. Oh, look at the Hellions. Oh, I need to be careful here. Yeah, his auto turret is actually winning this, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to back off from that for a little bit. And then I'm just going to go for a counter attack. Which seems crazy, but it might actually be the best choice I have here. Ooh, and now we're going to kill the tank. Let's go. That's nice. That's one tank killed. And then I'm going to kill the other tank as well. Oh, he was actually shooting the auto turret even. So that's even a little bit lucky. Now, I'm a little bit afraid that that first fight did not go well enough for us. Uh, wait, he has a Widow Mine on his... Okay, that was a little bit... I figured he maybe would have taken that with him. Uh, yeah, that first fight didn't actually go that amazing for us, guys. So I'm not sure if we can still like overpower him. Because we do definitely need to overpower him a little bit. Let's kill the SEVs here. Oh no, what? I, I tried to matrix the tank. For some reason it didn't work. I guess maybe I flicked away my ravens too fast. And it actually ends up being a little bit of a disaster here. Oh, that really sucks because I 100% I clicked the matrix on that tank. Oh man, that is a bit... Oh, I even lost that last raven. Yeah, I think mm, this is probably it, guys. I like to be positive, but I think with this proxy starboard not working out, he definitely has us in the bag. I'm trying to think if there's anything we can still do. I mean, I do have more workers than him for sure. So if for some reason he decides to uh, let me live forever or maybe attack at a really unfortunate timing. No, no, no. Don't do that, please. Um, <laughs> there could still be something we can do. So obviously I'm still going to try. Um, maybe I could make a sensor tower to scare him off. That's also a little gas though at the same time. No, let's not build that. I need more ravens. Look at all these random turrets I have. He probably feels like he's playing against a, an AI or something. You know, <laughs> he's playing against Alpha Star, guys. I'm the new Alpha Star now. Um, yeah, he scans me, and he's probably gonna decide to come and kill me <coughs> after seeing that. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna kill some more workers here, which is nice. It was probably about uh, what is that, eight or ten workers going down or so. He is actually making more. Um, more and more vikings which obviously makes sense yeah the thing is he has 10 vikings i have four ravens only guys like this is he's actually just gonna sit there i mean like obviously if he plays a good macro game the game should still be his but at the same time if he's really gonna let me live forever could i maybe come back into this game guys is there a hope or is raven hellion too bad <laughs> i'm not sure Ho hopefully hopefully there is hope i mean i do feel a little bit of hope um just because he's, he's actually... He seems very content on just sitting back. Now he sees I'm playing some really weird-ass mech style. I'm not sure what he saw with the first scan, actually. I don't quite recall what he saw with that. Now, I want to get a PF up in the middle somewhere. And the only reason I'm building it there is because he seems to be so passive. Oh, he's actually... Did he move the middle mine? Oh, guys. More damage. Oh, he actually didn't get that much with that. Oh wait, the tank is... Oh no, look. The tank was blocking him to raise the depot, but I thought it wasn't blocking my uh, my uh, entrance. But it was also blocking the entrance, sadly. So that's a little bit on Forge. Now, is he maybe expecting some kind... He could be expecting some kind of Battlecruiser switch, actually, thinking about it. My upgrades are non-existent, but I do have the upgrades for the Ravens, which are... I, I even want to say unarguably the most important upgrades here. Uh, I almost have 100 SEVs, which is obviously nice. I should probably focus on getting more starports rather than armories for the upgrades, I want to say. Can you get maybe some more CCs up? This is actually, for some reason, this is becoming a, a, a full-on macro game. Like, I really thought this game was going to be decided a while ago. But uh, somehow, it actually did become quite the macro game. Now, I'm at 152 supply. Typically, I don't really get to too much... 
or uh, uh, yeah, too much supply, I guess, in this challenge because usually they realize I have a dumb army composition, they attack me, or I managed to kill them before, or I completely failed to kill them before and I'm dead. But now I actually got to kind of like, I'm almost maxed out here. Now I don't have that many ravens actually. I have 13, which now I say that that is definitely a lot of ravens, but um, not probably not enough yet. I think he's gonna have 2-2 on those as well, marines soon. That's maybe even the, the most worrying thing, that the upgrades on the marines are actually gonna shred whatever I have. So if you think about it, the upgrades for the raven turrets are basically like 2-2, I guess. Um, so he's really just bunkering himself in. Guys, this is... I, f I find this very strange how he's handling this, but I'm kind of enjoying it because I haven't really gotten to play this kind of game. Now, can I really kill someone that is bunkered up this hard? Oh, this could actually be a nice fight. Get a little bit of damage on the bio units. He's still on 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this, I actually don't mind this trade at all. Like, keep in mind the Hellions are my fodder here. So, I actually don't mind that too much. I'm actually going to make a lot of random turrets on the map. That seems like a, a good thing to do. Oh, I already had more starports on the way. Didn't actually realize that. That is nice. Um, should I make even more? I, I even want to make more PFs and stuff. Dude, I'm actually going to... Oh, wait. I'm actually going to counterattack this. That is 100% the best choice, I think. Ooh, this could be nice. I'm going to keep these back, actually. He was he was already moving back. Let's see. Get him some more SCVs. Not even sure if SCVs are... Oh, no. What are you doing here? He's like... Oh. M maybe that actually tipped him off. He was like, wait. Was that another raven? Hope not. How many ravens do I have now? I have 20 ravens almost. I'm going to try to take this base as well. I'm definitely not going to be going to be able to get that base. Now, I, I, what I want to do is I want to fly in his base. I don't actually want any kind of direct combat here. I want to fly in his base and take a ridiculously good trade for no reason. Oh, wait. I can actually kill all of those units for free here. Oh, well, I wouldn't say for free, but uh, basically for free, I guess. Okay. I mean, that's going to be pretty nice. He's going to kill that base, but honestly, a uh, very good trade, right? I that was like 30 supply of units that I just killed. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm maybe not quite 30, but it was a lot of units anyway. Maybe now I can actually fly into his base. Well, well, well. What have we here, guys? <laughs> I have so many raids. It's actually getting a little bit ridiculous here. There we go. Raven's obviously pretty good against the bunkers. <laughs> I'm just spamming turrets until he seats, and then I'm like, okay, now I'm out. Uh, I don't want to get my turrets back on the map here. Those turrets were actually very nice to have. And let's try to saturate this as well. Really try to take that base if I can. Um... But yeah, he probably already took it at this point. Let's see. Can I get those red HP ravens out there? Try to get those repaired up. And ideally, I just keep trading forever. Uh, because I... Yeah, I mean, it sounds weird, but my army is more efficient. Um, somehow, you know. But <laughs> it, it is true. Let's see what he has here. Here's one tank. Yeah, I did lose a raven there, I guess. Yeah, I probably did lose a raven. Grab a few turrets. One turret it became. And I guess... Oh, he's actually going to kill that completely. That is a little bit annoying. I'm going to send my ravens there to kill that. And probably just lift this away. I, I just want to get any kind of free trade I can, really. Can I still repair that? Probably. Let's see. There we go. That is actually going to get repaired up. Um, No, I cannot. No, absolutely not. Ooh! That's a lot of workers I'm going to kill here. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Put some more CCs up here. And maybe I can actually fly... How many ravens is it now? I think we're now we're actually approaching... Um, 40 ravens, I believe. It's, it sounds crazy to say that, but I'm pretty sure we are actually approaching... Uh, 40 ravens at this point, which is nuts. Oh, I think I'm going to be able to do some damage here. <laughs> He's running for his life. He's like, let me live. 
Oh my goodness. All right. Dude, I feel so tense because I feel like at any point I could take a bad fight and I could die. So I'm actually very tensed up here. I'm actually going to make this an extra PF. So we killed his base. Um, but he is replacing it instantly. Let me just put this on auto repair. I actually do still have that backup base. Now, if I get this, that could actually be huge for us, right? Let's go. Let's take that. Tutu is going to finish soon. Oh, yes. We're going to kill some more workers. Very nice. So now he's making it a PF, looks like. I mean, I imagine he has as many bases as I do. So uh, he has more than enough bases. Actually going to put some turrets there and stuff. I feel like these are probably... Oh, my God. That is so many ravens. It actually looks like an insane flock as well. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're gonna send them here. I don't really need that much money, but it would also feel kind of weird to just own. Oh, the entire army was there. Okay. I guess we'll just go to the next place then. He's actually. I like the way he's playing it now, though. He's actually bunkering the entire map down, basically with uh, uh, tanks and stuff. I, I. I don't actually think I can kill that. There we go. Yeah, probably not gonna... Oh, maybe? Oh, we're actually gonna get it somehow. That's kind of crazy. All right, how many SCVs do I... I might... This sounds insane. But I might have to sack SCVs to make more ravens. Because I'm, I'm just... I'm maxed on ravens at this point. Which is just incredible. Um, should I... I kind of want to YOLO and take it... Oh, no. I misclicked. Don't want to fight when I misclicked. There you go. I kind of want to take a fight just to trade out all my, all my energy is what I wanted to say. Okay. Oh, he's actually gonna fight it, okay. Yeah, he's trading really well against these now. Okay, I'm getting more and more. I guess I should probably lose these hell I mean the Hellions? You know, they're actually gonna do a decent amount of damage as well, if you think about it. Uh, I am mining from this base now, which is kind of crazy, but it is happening, so... This is also a little bit of a psycho move. I'm definitely not going to commit too hard to that. I just wanted to try. Oh, I did actually kill um, <laughs> two of those tanks somehow. All right. I think it might be time to even get turrets up in the middle of the map. And a barracks for some reason. <laughs> that was just a misclick, but I guess now I'm sticking with it. I'm just going to get more PFs up, actually. I don't need this many orbitals, to be fair. Uh, normally you want mass orbitals, but obviously I only make ravens, so I'm gonna make a few more factories in case I want to remax on five million hellions. I like how, as I say that, I actually ran out of scans. That is hilarious. That is a, that is a classic, classic eternal moment right there. I guess I'm gonna make these into orbitals. Okay. Oh, they actually kill a Viking. So, like this is what I mean. He's coming in here now. And I'm instantly going to go for a counter-attack. I'm committing into... Oh, we made a ghost! No way! He actually made a ghost against my ravens. We have reached peak StarCraft, I think, guys. What do I do now? <laughs> he actually did it. The madman. You psycho. Oh, my God! Well, th those are my Hellions. You can EMP those. I, I don't mind that that much. Uh, but please, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this is actually happening. This guy made freaking... Oh, this looks big. He made freaking ghosts against my ravens. This is like every every starter player's dream. That is crazy. Oh my god, all these turrets. I mean, the ghost is the ultimate counter. He is definitely in the right for doing it. But I still think it is hilarious. I don't know if I have enough energy to break him anymore, you know? I might have to remake some... Uh, I'm just gonna run straight through, I think. I feel like that's the only thing I can realistically do here. Try to get his base instead. Maybe remake a lot of Hellions. Probably sacrifice a bunch of SCVs at this point. Oh no, I didn't realize he was chasing me. Oh shit. I, I really didn't realize he was coming for me there. That's a little bit rough. <laughs> Wait, he missed that one. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Oh, I'm actually gonna kill his ghost though. That is not the worst trade ever. Uh, unless he catches my freaking ravens, of course. Yeah, I did actually kill all of them. Uh, I mean, I still have a lot of money. I'm definitely going to run. Good thing I have this base, hey, with the turrets here. That would be rough if I didn't. 
Uh, but yeah, the, the ghost! The freaking ghost, man. I guess I just need to... Uh, I'm gonna make a few more CCs, because why not? I'm actually considering maxing out on Hellions instead. Because, yeah, the ghost is gonna be very problematic to deal with. It was really... I was having a, such a good time because... It felt like he had no good counter to what I did until he realized he should make Ghost. And now I'm just getting absolutely shredded. Uh, so that is a little bit of forge, but it is what it is. Let's see. Oh, I don't want that to be a PF. Hell no. I can actually kill that, maybe. And drop a few turrets and go back. There you go. Okay. I mean, all my Ravens are... I actually don't have enough gas to repair all these anymore. Uh, you guys can stay here. No biggie, guys. Ah. How many SVs do I have? I have? I have 146 army supply, guys. That is insane. Um, but do I have enough to beat four ghosts? <laughs> that is so ridiculous. I want to try to get an Omega fight. I don't think I can because the ghost... I'm actually going to try to surround him with my ravens. So his ghost can't just EMP everything. That is the plan. Where, where are my ravens coming from? Ravens! Oh my goodness, they're coming from everywhere! <laughs> what? What on earth is happening here, guys? Oh my, I think I killed this army. Um, <laughs> there's absolutely no way this is happening right now. Alright, let me try to target the SUVs on that. Oh, my auto turret is actually doing pretty well against these. Holy crap. Look at the auto turret damage. That is incredible. No, I do need to get that base back up. Else I'm going to just be in massive problems. I think it might be time for a bit to just make mass Hellions. Because I do have all the resources required for that. <laughs> I can't believe what a game this has actually become. This is the kind of game you play when you're like one more quick game before bed, you know. This is the kind of game you end up playing. Oh, no. Alright. And... Um, you know what I'm going to do the next time, actually? You guys have been asking for it, and I think it would be funny to try. I don't think it would have mattered, but I think the next time I get into one of these games like this, I would like to make a, a million Hellbats and actually try to um, get, like, a huge surround or something, you know, on, like, all the tanks and stuff. I think that would be pretty epic. Now, that surround did work, but the thing is, it's just a little bit too expensive. Um... Like, the, the Ravens are just, like, the most expensive thing Terran has, basically, per supply. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but it could be. So... Oh, wait, I can actually go for this, I think. Probably kill a few of those SCVs through the planetary. At this point, his eco is probably quite good, so I don't know if it matters. I mean, I am still maxed. And these are actually relatively well repaired somehow. Um, yeah, both sides must be... Well, I don't know if he's running low on money, but he's mining out slowly. Actually, this base, I already minded a lot for him, which is going to do really well for me. Oh, I made a Banshee on accident. That's funny. Wait, I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go for the Ghost! Oh my god. Is it still not enough? Oh no, he has more! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at the energy on these! Ouch. <laughs> I have zero energy. I didn't think he had more Ghosts on the freaking ramp. Oh, man, that is an absolute disaster. God. I, I thought I had all of his ghosts. I there you can see how good ghosts actually are against Hellions, by the way. Because I, I want to say I had probably 25 Hellions or so against, like, 7 ghosts. Um, <laughs> they do have 3... Yeah, my Hellions do have 3-3. Three, three. Well, I guess we're just going to recharge energy. I mean, technically... Technically, there's no damage done, I guess. I mean, there is, but, you know... I guess if I get to recharge all my energy, if he's not going to do anything with it, then technically we uh, did not take any damage there. Besides losing a million Hellions, I mean, of course. Now, the problem with the Hellions is that they're definitely just not efficient here. Ooh, that's a lot of tanks. Hmm. Okay, what can I do here, guys? I'm going to grab a few of these big Ravens. And I think at this point, I might just try to snipe his infrastructure rather than actually um, fight his army because I think fighting the army might just not quite be realistic at this point like, look at the army he has I think I could fight it if I legitimately had 60 hellions with an anti-armor missile I think in that in that case there might be a bit of a chance um, oh I'm gonna send a few hellions there 
Let's see. I think I'm just gonna sp uh, split my ravens to be fair because otherwise I think I'm not really gonna be able to fight that. Let's see. I could lose even more SCVs because at this point I'm not really mining anyway, I suppose. Yeah, the tanks are just... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like, my brain is working overtime right now trying to figure this one out. Yeah, actually, you know, I don't have that many Hellions. I still have too many Ravens. Now, that's probably not something you would expect me to say. But I do actually have too many Ravens. Unless I lose even more army. Maybe I can... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, maybe I can make him stim. That could be something. And then I can actually fly in here. Let's see. Oh, no, he actually split his army. God, I hate when players play well. Doesn't it just annoy you guys when your opponents don't make crucial mistakes? Shouldn't be allowed, honestly. Okay, I mean, maybe I could take some decent trades with this. Like, not the best trades ever. I definitely think I'm gonna have to rely on uh, the Hellions to get it done. Rather than uh, the Ravens, though. I'm actually denying this pretty well, somehow. Ghosts are actually not light. They, they look like they are, but they're actually not light. So they don't take that much damage from the Hellions here. Um, that's why it's kind of hard to fight them. Like, I know they, they look like they would take a little damage from Hellions. But they actually don't. Now, I have one more idea in me, which is that I try to break this now. With, like, you know, a lot of Matrixes. And oh, he just has so many ghosts, though. Like, it's actually absurd the amount of ghosts he has, you know. If it wasn't for the ghost, I would feel so confident here. But the ghost, somehow they actually counter me so hard right now. Uh, yeah, there's like no way I can go in there, I feel like. I do need to get at least one more base mining or there's just no hope for me. Um, I guess I could try to get that one. I mean, technically I mined from a few more bases than him. So that's actually pretty good. I see, don't want to lose these for nothing. I can actually try to drop some anti-armor missiles. Let's see. Oh, I don't have one on that one. That's not not the smartest thing ever. Oh, I lost that one. That sucks. I'm actually going to throw these as well. I want to make so many freaking Hellions that it blocks out the sun. Even though they don't fly. Oh, no. He actually got a PF up there. How am I going to do this now? Hmm. I'm not so sure, guys. I think I'm really going to have to go a little bit crazy on this one. I mean, I am already... Obviously, I've made a million Ravens, so... At this point, I guess I've gone crazy enough. But I'm going to try to blow up this uh, PF, first of all. That should probably work, actually. Oh, no. There's a ghost. God, man. The EMPs are devastating against these ravens. I actually have so many more, by the way. It's actually... <laughs> actually okay, now I'm going to lose some, which... Might not be that bad, actually. Just how can I ever deal with the EMPs is the question. Yeah, I think at this point, I really just am hoping he makes like a massive mistake. I don't know if he can, if he's going to make one, but oh. careful. I mean, him EMPing that squad is probably not the biggest deal. Like, I want him to attack me, you know? I don't, I don't want to give up this game until he attacks me, because I can, I can sit back forever too. The problem is that he's going to mine out extra bases compared to me. Yeah, I can destroy this pretty easily, though. That should be pretty nice. There we go. If he wants to trade into this, that would also be pretty nice, actually. Because then... Uh, th yeah, that's literally free, those trades. I'm, su I'm surprised he never went for, like... An extreme amount of... Vikings. That feels like a very... Understandable approach, as well. Try to get these turrets down. A little bit of... Dude, oh, he wait, he actually got the third range upgrade, yeah? I feel like those theories have been shooting my ravens uh, a little bit more than I would expect. So now I'm actually... I'm still not giving up. I know it's looking dire. But I'm still not giving up. And I'm, I'm really going to try to just go for free trades now. There we go. This kind of stuff, you know? The, the, the turrets with the range are actually really good against the auto turrets. Oh, he wants the EMP. He was hunting for it. Oh, he came from the other side. Okay, makes sense. Wait, is this my time? Oh my goodness, the Hellions! 
<laughs> Guys? Can we take a killer fight here? One more matrix, please. Okay, I mean, we did take an insane fight. I don't know if it's enough. But this fight was actually incredible somehow. Wait, I have so many. I have so many Hellions here. <laughs> what? Guys, absolutely no way. How are we destroying his army like this? <laughs> this has to be the best game ever. Oh my god. Oh, I wasn't mining gas from this. Crap. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the same approach. I'm gonna keep making just an absurd amount of Hellions. And I'll just repair the Ravens that I have. Um, oh, they were already on auto repair. There we go. Whew. Okay. I wonder what the efficiency in this game is. Aren't you guys curious what the efficiency looks like in this game? Okay, so he, he wanted to give me SCVs, which means he has enough money to max out at least. That is like the, you know, he probably has more, but at least he can max out one more time. I don't think I'm going to repair these Hellions. It was like a little bit too much effort. Oh, you guys go mine this, please. He really wants to mine his base. Ah! Don't shoot me. Mm. <laughs> I'm just baiting him at this point. Okay. Oh, if he's going to go for that base, we have to go, though. 100%. I'm already getting my, my pre-split ready. Obviously, we both have infinite scans. Ah! <laughs> I should probably actually repair these heli. If he gives, if, if he gives me time, I should. Yeah, okay, he's going he's gonna to try to set up this base with turrets. And the turrets, I won't be able to break anymore. That's the, that's the scariest thing here. I'm going to put these guys here, actually. That should be pretty nice, denying this base. If I can't have it, at least he shouldn't be able to have it either. Sounds very selfish, doesn't it? Okay, 33 minutes. Oh no, leave me alone. Go away. But I, st I still have ravens. He seems very confident as, I have, as if I have no ravens, but... Okay, we're not going yet. I should actually not hold key all my ravens together. I should really... Uh, attack with like an F2 kind of style, you know? I should even send some ravens from the bottom so I can... Can I dive into that army and kill it? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see, what does he have here? Probably some more stuff I could kill, really. Let's try to... Ooh, this could be big. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Let's go. Oh, man, these freaking turrets, huh? I mean, it's actually mined out already. There's nothing to contest there looking at it. Oh, uh, now, now he's getting turrets up. I think we're actually pretty close to the point where I'm gonna... I have 176 army supply, guys. Holy smokes. Okay. I'm gonna F2 from every angle. That is the plan. And just pray, really. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pray. Oh, wait. I thought this was a planetary, actually. He just EMP'd my orbital. Probably more Hellions than you... Th or, uh, yeah, more Hellions than you thought here, buddy. Okay, guys. I think it's time to go for the insane F2. I know it's crazy, but... Wait, actually, I don't have scans right now. I must have scans. Ah, these two were in hotkey, okay. Jesus. Yeah, I want to go for this. I'm going to do it, guys. Frick it. This is actually insane what I'm doing, but... I had no idea how that was going to go until I did it. And now I still don't know. More turrets before they get EMP'd. Okay. Oh my god. Ah, he actually got us, dude. Oh, man. I mean, I, you have to be honest with me, guys. I tried my best here. That was... <laughs> god. I'm going I'm, I'm to try one more time, though. Uh, like, may, maybe I don't think it's the case. But maybe he actually has no money uh, so i'm gonna try one more time with my last raven energy and if that doesn't work then that's gonna be it Let's see yeah he still has the tanks there that's annoying maybe i can actually sneak in from behind try to kill that probably not though i mean now i can actually make more ravens than i can make other stuff because i'm just out of money completely kill the last scvs maybe no also not gonna work yeah he has a big army I think we have to call this one, guys. Let's see. Is he still making units? Oh, actually, he's not making that many more units. Looking at it. Okay. Ah. 
Freaking Jason, man. Actually, I wait, I actually have zero patches left. That is incredible. There's actually no patches on this map besides this. That is insane as well. Oof. I wonder if there was somehow a way to win that last fight, maybe. I don't I don't think there was actually, but I think it was as close to perfect as you can get. Uh, with all the disables and the and the missiles and his army not being there. Because keep in mind a big part of his army was actually straight up not there. So like his supply has to be at least like 150, I think. And I'm I'm at a poor 89 right now. Oh no, he's gonna find me. I'm just gonna send in ravens like one by one. Dropping turrets here. I, I want to bait him into fighting, you know? Because if, if I go into him, I will lose 100%. So I want to bait him into fighting. That's what I want to do. Oh man, this army is actually huge, to be honest. I think I might have to tap this one out, guys. He didn't quite attack into me. I mean, at some point he tried. See, get a missile on for to scare him a little bit. He, I think he just EMP'd air, didn't he? Um, look how many freaking turrets there are here. Oh my god. What if I drop a turret from here? Oh, I can actually drop turrets out of range. Oh my god, it's actually hard to do. <laughs> we're, we're picking him apart slowly, guys. There's 500 missile turrets to go. But we're picking him apart slowly, okay? We'll get there. Oh my goodness. Oh no, my last PF is dead as well. Alright, guys. That was it. 141 supply dude we actually got pretty close like honestly i i know he had us relatively convincingly but we actually got pretty close there 141 supply against 88 he was actually a decent amount more efficient than us because we kept having to move in uh, but he did also have this base left right and he had uh let's see actually more than 1k minerals uh, and 400 gas here I actually forgot this was a rich Vespian gas. I completely forgot about that, but yeah. He did it pretty convincingly. I want to look at that fight one more time if you can actually find it. Because this was such a long replay. I just want to see what like the supplies were and if I actually destroyed him as much as it looked like. Let's see. Yeah, oh, oh it was actually right there, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right there, I believe. Let's see. All right. Oh my god. My army does look terrifying, to be fair. Wait, why does it have to jump forward like that? I jumped back 15 seconds, then it saved me two minutes. Anyway, this might have been the longest, well, probably the longest game of maybe any challenge we've done. Uh, definitely of the Raven challenge, I want to say. It was almost 40 minutes. So, my army... <laughs> 46. 46 Hellions and 41 Ravens. My army value is pretty high. It started pretty bad because he EMP'd. But he had the rest of his army there. So I could actually jump on this. Like without the siege tanks. I actually would have killed this army easily. Because the Hellions are so good. Look how hard he gets wiped out here. Oh my my army is so big. And then I matrix them. Because it stops the boost. And then I try to drop turrets to kill the medivacs. I didn't manage to. And then I think. So I kill a bunch of stuff here. If you look at the money. I'm actually ahead in minerals. But obviously, I can only make uh, Hellions. And then I'm going to jump on this army too. I didn't care about the EMPs here. Because I figured the Hellions would just destroy anyway. And I actually got massively ahead in supply here. The biggest problem was just the tank plus ghost combo. Because I could never dive in to disable the tanks. Uh, because of the ghost. And the ghost has destroyed the Hellions. Anyway... I don't think I want to keep you guys any longer than this because this was a very long, amazing episode. Over an hour long, I believe. So yeah, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. Adios.